Every year, enough sunshine falls on millions of homes to generate all the electricity they need, but just goes to waste. Some may have been put off by the look of solar panels, but that's all changed. Solar Century has now developed a solar tile that even fits in with traditional slate roofs, a breakthrough in harnessing the sun's power without spoiling the look of your home. And now, thanks to the government's feed-in tariff, the financial incentives are stronger than ever before. Solar power has just come of age. The principle behind solar electric technology is that the energy from the sun is converted into electricity by the silicon in the cells, and the cells are all wired together to form a solar tile. In a home installation, the tiles are fixed to the roof, wired together, and the electricity is then passed through to the home's distribution board. Solar Century tiles and panels are guaranteed to work to at least 80% power for 25 years, and should last 50 years, or as long as the roof on your house. The feed-in tariff is a financial incentive to encourage public uptake of clean energy. Under the scheme, energy companies are obliged to pay domestic customers significantly more than the market price for electricity they produce with their solar panels. So, with a solar system installed, you'll earn 41.3 pence for every unit of energy you generate, and that's even if you use the power in your home. Energy you don't use is sold onto the grid, netting you an additional 3p per unit on top of the 41.3 pence. The best bit is that this rate is guaranteed, along with the solar panels, for 25 years. So what do owners of solar systems think of the scheme? The way the feed-in tariff works is quite interesting, and I must admit, when I first looked at it, I hadn't really appreciated how it works. But what it is, is that you actually are paid uh, an amount per kilowatt, irrespective of whether you use it or whether you export it. So simply by having the system there generating electricity, you get paid 41 pence per kilowatt. Under the new feed-in tariff, that's um, going to generate about uh, 12, 1300 pounds income off the roof, uh, which seemed a good investment to me. Might not be energy self-sufficient, but we should be uh, money self-sufficient because the surplus will more than cover the gas bill and damn it, the water bill. <laughs> and the sooner you join, the better, because the rate you receive for the generation payments will go down in future years of the scheme. So it makes sense to sign up now. Customers who want to make money from solar without changing the look of their roofs now have the option of fitting Solar Century's cutting-edge solar tiles, which integrate into the roof itself. There are products for both concrete and traditional slate roofs. The C21 e tiles are excellent from an architectural point of view. They sit flat to the, to the front of the roof, so it's, it's something that you can use you know, pretty much anywhere. The reason that this product works so well is that it can be totally integrated with the slates that are on the roof. What I like is the fact that it really does allow you to put it into the roof and not have people look at it and say that there are solar panels on the roof. This house in South London was designed by owner Will Anderson to be fully carbon neutral. He's completely self-sufficient for electricity, thanks to his solar roof. I mean, some people think that you can't actually use solar in Britain because it's such a cloudy, rainy nation. But today, even though it's cloudy, there's no direct sunlight, um, I'm generating well over a thousand watts of power, which is more than I need for everything in the house. All these bits and bobs, they all add up to less than we're currently generating. So we can cover all those and still have a surplus. And the weather's equally British at the state-of-the-art solar street in Rotherham. But the residents are still collecting their kilowatts. It's very dull, very cloudy, and yet you can see the panels are still working because on this meter, the light is green. So even though it's quite a grey day today, you will actually make two or three units. I think probably the system produces somewhere in the region of two-thirds of our energy um, in, in a daily use. The first bill that we had after the initial installation was 
amazing. You know, especially when you get one of your previous bills out and compare, you're just like, wow. And although you do need to buy electricity as normal after dark, the feed-in tariff payments owners receive mean the numbers add up better than ever before. The system we have cost about £9,500 and we will be paid each year about £900. So that would be equal to a return of about 9%. Um, and I suppose the other way to look at it is after about 10 or 11 years, we will have got our money back by having £900 each year for 10 years. And for the remaining 15 years, every unit you generate is pure profit. I'm getting a 10% return on my investment as opposed to leaving it at the bank where I get 1 or 2% that's uh, index linked, tax free and guaranteed for 25 years. So it just seemed a brilliant financial investment. The other thing is actually the value of the system. It always remains on the roof of your house. So when you, if you come to sell your house, for instance, you can ask for a premium on the price of the house because the system's there. We got an estate agent round after the installation and he's uh, quoted that it raised the value of the house by 6 to 8%, so we're really pleased with that. Meanwhile, Will's energy costs are likely to make you go green with envy. We don't have any bills. I mean, we just get cheques from the energy company, which is, at a time when energy prices are going up, is obviously quite nice. Don't want to be too smug about this. You know, it's not why we did it, but now that we've got it, it's nice. Whether you go for integrated solar slates or retrofit panels on top of your existing roof, a solar electric system can be installed in as little as one day. Solar tiles and slates can be installed as part of a new roof, extension or re-roofing project. Actually, we were quite surprised about the lack of disruption there was. Now, I had to have the roof done anyway. To have the solar added in, there was no real extra complication. The installation guy for Solar Century turned up, laid the new tiles along with my roofer working with him. The system was linked up and within a day it was up and running. Living with solar is just like living a normal day life. Um, I think one thing it has done is it's taught us to be more careful about our energy usage. You become a lot more conscious about what you're using, how you're using it. So like you become like a bit of a police detective. You're going around the house going, right, who's got something on? And when people leave lights on or leave things on overnight, um, uh, you get a little bit jumpy, but you've got to be cool about that. We've done some quite extensive uh, research with the people who've moved in here and everyone is delighted with, with what we've done up here, so it's certainly shown us that that's the future as far as we're concerned. If you've got a bit of spare cash, which you're thinking about using on this, but you're not sure, I would say invest. I think it's a very good deal uh, if you look at it coldly in terms of getting a return of around 9%, which at the moment is tax-free. And certainly I think if you are ecologically minded, then it feels good to have done something like this. I guess you got the warm green feeling about it, but it would be dishonest to say we did it for any, I did it for any other reason other than the economic benefits of the feed-in tariff. Even if your, your interest is not an ethical interest uh, about lowering your carbon footprint, if it's, if it's more about saving money, then I really do see it as a worthwhile investment. If you're interested in finding out more, please visit solarcentury.co.uk and pop in your postcode for an instant estimate of the cost and profit you can make from solar electricity. Thank you.